All right, hi guys. Um, so this is the notes for parts of a circle. Um, we talked about um, a few of these last week, um, but we're going to introduce a few more, and they will, you'll have a couple problems like this on your um, assignment this week. So um, here we have a um, first word is circle. So um, again, we talked about the definition of a circle last week. Um, a circle was the infinite set of points that are equidistant away from a central point. So here we have J in the middle. So the circle is this infinite set of points that go around J at the same distance, right? They're all the radius length away, but all of these points are the circle, right? This is the circle, okay? And nothing in the middle, nothing on the outside. The circle is simply the set of points that are equidistant away from the center J, okay? So that's the circle. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them labeled, but really there's an infinite amount of them um, that go around. Okay. All right, so that's circle. Um, to name the circle, you pick the center point. So the center is J, right? So I'm not going to write these definitions. We're just going to verbally go over the definitions. Um, but then we're going to write the names down. So this is circle J. We name the circles by their center Uh, point so circle why am i why don't i know how to spell circle j okay you can also put a dot with the j next to it and that's or the circle sorry so circle j circle j okay um diameter okay so a diameter was a segment um that has two endpoints on the circle so here we have uh, g and d are points on the circle and the segment that connects them goes through the center of the circle so here we have a diameter because we have a a segment with endpoints on the circle and it's going through the center of the circle so um, that is a diameter for our circle so we would name it segment g d right diameter is a segment Okay, radius, let's do radius next. Um, so radius goes from the center of the circle to the circle itself, right? It's the distance all the points on the circle are from the center. So um, you have G, JF would be a diameter. So we could say JF, right? It's a segment going from the center to the circle itself. You also have JD would be another radius here. Okay, and then JG, right? All of those would be radiuses. They go from the center of the circle to the circle, edge of the circle, to the circle itself, from the center to the circle itself. Okay. Chords. So that's a new one we haven't talked about. So let me clear all these. All right. So a chord is a segment whose endpoints are on the circle. So for example, A and C are on the circle. So the segment that connects them is a chord. So again, we're gonna name that A, C, okay? We also have G and D, we have a segment connecting them. So we also have G and D, segment G, D. Okay, we know that segment G, D was our diameter. So a diameter is a chord because it's a segment with two points, two endpoints on the circle. Um, so a diameter is always going to be a chord, but a chord is only a diameter if it goes through the center. So a chord is simply a segment that has two endpoints on the circle. A diameter is basically a chord that goes to the center. So if your chord goes through the center, then it's a diameter. Okay. Um, and then we have tangent and secant lines. Okay, so um, a tangent line, right? So these ones are lines, tangent and secant are lines, tangent line and secant line. So a tangent line is a line that's going to intersect the circle at one point. So only at one point. So here we have a line, right? This is line XA, XM. Okay, and it's going to intersect the circle at just one single point. So here is, oops, if I could draw it straight, we can see that it just touches the circle. 
So that is a tangent line. We're going to intersect the circle at just one point. So XM. Okay. And then we're going to call the point where it intersects the point of tangency. So this definition is not on there, but we should know it. The point of tangency. Right. That's the point that touches the circle, right? So tangent line intersects the circle at one point, and the point where it touches is the point of tangency. So in this case, the point of tangency is x, right? Point x. Okay. Then a secant line, if we look a little bit up at our diagram, a secant line is a segment that's going to, or is a line, sorry, that's going to intersect the circle at more than one point. Um, so it's really tangent lines and secant lines are more applicable to just uh, to any curve. It doesn't have to be a circle, but any curve. So formally, we define a secant line as intersecting the curve at more than one point. In a circle, you can't intersect at more than two. So for our purposes, it's going to be any line that intersects the circle at two points. So here we have a line. It intersects at point A and C. So that's going to be line AC. Okay, so we have center of the circle, right, named by the point in the middle. We have the diameter is a chord that goes to the center, right? So it's, it's got two endpoints on the circle, and it goes through the center. Radius goes from the center of the circle to the circle itself, so a segment. And then a chord as, is a segment with the endpoints on the circle, so AC and GD. Um, and then tangent lines and secant lines. Tangent lines intersect the circle at one point. Uh, secant lines intersect the circle at two points. Okay, and those are lines, so we have the line symbols. All right, and then let's do an example problem. Let me zoom out a little. Get everything in here. So these are kind of the things we need to identify. There's seven of them here. All right, so the first is the a radius. So we have to figure out what a radius would be. Well, we're going from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle itself. So how about CE? So segment CE would work. Okay. Um, diameter is a segment that goes from, uh, that, that has endpoints on the circle and goes to the center. So um, here we have DE. That would be an example of a diameter, DE. We're going through the center of the circle. All right, center of the circle is simply, um, we'll just call it uh, C, right? The middle point is how we name our circle. So circle C. Okay, or sometimes I'll put a C with a circle around it. Okay, a chord. So we can just simply rename the diameter because we know a diameter is a chord. Right, but we also would have a b segment a b all right we could do um again like we said de is a chord as well because all diameters are chords or we could do h j segment h j right not line h j but segment h j right just this segment okay or a b here those would be chords tangent line there's only one uh, tangent line here it intersects the circle at one point so that's going to be this one here okay so we can name that a bunch of different ways right you just got to pick two points on it so let's just name it g k line g k so you got to put the line symbol over it and again you could have done g k k f uh, g f all those would have worked uh, and then the point of tangency is the point where it intersects the circle. So that's going to be point K. Right. Or you could just say uh, K. All right. And then the secant line is the last one. So the secant line is the line that intersects the circle at two points. So that one drawn in here is H J. Right. Line H J is your secant line. It intersects at two points. Right. Um, and then you will also have to name uh, in the assignment major arcs and minor arcs. Right. So if we do real quick, remember um, a minor arc would be less than half. So for example, a minor arc could be like AB. 
right? It might be a minor arc. And then A, H, B going the long way, right? Would be a major arc, right? And then you might also have to do a semicircle, right? Which would be half the circle. So a semicircle, we'd still have to use three points, right? So D, A, E, for example, would be a semicircle. Um, so that's the notes for parts of a circle.